Hey, we're out to Michael's. We're out to Michael's. You guys want to go along? I'm kind of hoping, I didn't call first. I didn't call, I should, because Michael's is like an hour away from me. But, I'm kind of hoping they have a re that reset. <sighs> or at least some yarn there. Because last time, they didn't have nothing. Anyways, Evelyn is going. Eli is going. Mr. Bob is driving. Olivia is going. I'm going. <laughs> Yay, we made it. We made it. And we're by Petco. I'm going to go over there and get George's sweater. Because he's always cold. I guess I could crochet him one, but it's easier. Just buy him one. Okay. What? They're on the wrong feet. I told him they were on the wrong feet. Alright. He can sit right here. Here we are. Michaels. I know last time I was here it was horrible in the yarn section. Let's hope it's better this time. That's all I can hope for. Oh, hot value. These plants. 50% off, huh? Well, I don't need any. I got enough real plants at my house. Alright. Yarn section. Oh my gosh, it's it's not here anymore. What's going on? Here's some. I don't want this. They redid my Michaels. Five bucks. That's on clearance. I don't want it. There used to be yarn right here. The down the center aisle. And then over here there was a bunch. Oh no. Please don't. Oh no. They took out an aisle. All yarn is buy one get one 50%. Okay, let me park my cart before we look at the yarn and see what they did to my to my yarn aisles. Okay. That's the same. That's the same. That's the same. Okay, I think it's okay. They just took out those center aisles. All right. All right. Well, let's start and see what we got here. Okay, Bernat. Don't need any of that. Although I always think this is really pretty. This Bernat, uh, this rainbow one, is so pretty. I got it a lot of time in mystery bags. I got a beautiful blanket on my channel made out of every single color of this uh, skin tone yarn from Lambrin. I like that yarn too. It's nice. All the pretty colors. Let's see, we got some homespun, the big bun or hometown, the big bundles. Probably pass on that. I do love Heartland a lot. I love this avocado green. I think I have some of that at home though. Oh, very pretty. That teal's beautiful. Beautiful. What's it called? That's pretty. Hmm. They're also pretty. And Karen Simply Soft is $5.99 here. My Walmart doesn't sell Karen Simply Soft anymore. I sure do like it though. It's a pretty navy. What's up guys? Nothing. Nothing. And here is... Back here to see if there's any yarn in back here. <laughs> I'm the yarny that's back here. And you... <laughs> you, I said this place is like one of them. It is. <laughs> this is... This is like uh, Michael's brand loops and threads. It's like their um, Karen Simply Soft. What is this? <gasps> what is this? I have never seen this. Look, loops and threads. Now I've seen their facets uh, yarn before, but look, it's glistening. I've never seen it with sparkle. OMG, I got to get this. This one looks like a seashell. I'm gonna get some of the, some stuff. I've never seen it before. I mean, I like. I'm afraid of myself. The loops and threads faucet yarn. I've had it and seen it, but I've never ever seen it with sparkle in it. Can you see that sparkle? How exciting! I love sparkle yarn. So I haven't been to Michaels in a while. So, um, oh, look at that pretty pink up there. All that has sparkles in. It. All these have sparkles. I better get my cart. Because I definitely want to get some of that. I have to make something out of it. 
I try not to make my trip too long. But they might have new yarn here that I've never seen before. And I'm gonna try not to make anybody vomit with my um my skills here. Oh, here's some more. Okay, so here's the ones that I've seen, and I did a review on these. See, these don't have sparkles in them. They're still really pretty though. I like them. But these are sparkly. I love this seashell one. Let me see. I'm gonna take these. Beautiful. Okay. I'm not gonna clean them out, okay? But I am might take a couple of some of them. Oh, that one's really pretty, but they only got one. I like the pink as well. Oh, I'm too sure I'm gonna have to get my husband over here for that one. So I'm not gonna buy all these, but I can show you what colors they got. This one's called, and at at the end of my video, I'll, this one's called. Um, let's see, this is a four weight roving style. It looks like a glisten, a sparkle. It's beautiful. Um, two hundred and seventy nine yards there. I love it. It's beautiful color. That's it. One ten LX. That's a color. You couldn't come up with a better color name. That's disappointing. I love the names of the yarns. Color names. This is uh, 50 L 58 LX. Maybe if I look online, if they have it, they'll have it. That's so pretty. I always say when it's... I can't really reach that peak. Okay, I got one. Oh, that's beautiful. Evelyn would really like that. If it doesn't have like a whole bunch of sparkle, I always call it a glisten. And that's what this one is. It's a glisten. Color 57 LX. What is the deal with their names? That's they had such an opportunity to have a pretty name for that. Okay. This one's really pretty too. Look at that. It looks kind of like watermelon, maybe. A little bit. Oh, it's Fawcett's Melange. Okay, okay. I couldn't see any other different name on it to make it to make it sparkle, but I see it now. Facet, I hope I'm saying that. Facet Melange, and now this is the Michaels brand. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get that one. And then they have, I don't know what was here. I don't know what color it was, but obviously it was popular because it's gone. And then they have this beautiful blue and gray. Look at this one. And that's pretty too, isn't it? And um, color number, um, Babe, color number 112LX. That's pretty. I like that. Okay, I have my husband come and give me some of that pink. I didn't clean them out, I promise. They probably have more on the bottom anyways. I wonder if they have that one color that's missing. Okay, so here's a regular, uh, I hope I'm saying it right, Fawcett's yarn that doesn't have the sparkle. Like I said, I have a review on it. I really like it. It's a lot similar to um, Red Heart. Unforgettable or Lion Brand um, uh, landscapes, but it's not quite as shiny, but it still has a bit of a shine on it. It's very pretty stuff. What's this? Something new? If I say it's new, it's because it's new to me. Textured Twist Acrylic Melange. Melange. So this is like homespun. It's a bumpies. Now I'm not going to get that because it's an. Ooh, look, this is, this is like homespun. I like this one okay I can make something out of it I don't really like the bumpies but man that color I can't I can't pass that color up color 09009 well what's the yardage we got a bulky five here um 184 yards how many they got I give me two six eight, hmm I wonder if they have any more elsewhere because that's the color I want <sighs> Sorry guys, I gotta take these. If they, you know, they only have so many, I gotta take them to make a project. I'm not gonna take any other colors. But I gotta take these. I hope they got some more. That one's pretty too. Look at that one. I only got one of that left though. I can see why. That's pretty. I'm just looking for new yarns that I've never seen before. How exciting. Last time I hear, was here, it, it, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> here. 
Okay, so this is all their loops and threads yarn. I'm not really seeing anything. Loops and threads. Uh, yeah, charisma. Nothing new that I haven't seen before on this side. Um, I'll do my best to look around and hope hope I don't get a copyright strike from that music. It is pretty groovy though, isn't it? <laughs> what is this? Is this regular loops and threads? Um, impeccable yeah all right so that's just pretty much their impeccable line over here their stripes their flecked um stuff like that that they have over here so why don't we move on to their um can cake aisle can can aisle and other aisle let's see what we got over here as far as oh can cakes go well we got some whites so i'm gonna go ahead and take them i usually take them when i find them the white caram cake is my favorite okay so they had two whites let's see what else we got here um, I have rainbow. What's this? What is this? A all white regular crown cake? Oh my gosh. Powdered sugar? I'm taking it. Because I've been wanting to make something with the uh, red, the, uh, red velvet one. Only this is a new one and it doesn't have any like white in it. But the old one does and I have the old one. And it would be great to border it with it. Oh my gosh, I gotta take it. It's new. And this is new? Oh, you guys get me with new stuff. Stop it. Cranberry? That's not new, is it? I thought I've seen that before. Oh no. Cameron. I, I really have never seen this though. With all white. That's. I really like that. What's the yardage on this? Because it'd be great to border things with it. Um. I haven't bought a carrot cake for so long. These regular ones are 3.83. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of those because if I use those, it's probably just gonna be a bordering, bordering technique on a regular carrot cake. Like I said, I have some. Actually, I have this one and this one at home. I wanted to make something with, so I think the white would look good on either one of those. Maybe. Okay, let's see this big cake here. What color are you? Blue glaze? Is that new, guys? I'm not going to get it, but it says it's new, and I still don't think that's new. I thought I remember seeing that before, but you guys can let me know in the comments. I could be wrong. A lot of the times I'm wrong, so... <sighs> yeah. I almost want to get this black and white one here. The cookies and cream, is that what it is? No, London Fog. And make it like it with that, but they only have three not enough now I know don't you look down here they have a uh, different they have yarn sometimes I know people sometimes get mad at me in the comments for doing this but it's people in the comments that told me to do it so I'm just doing it just seeing what they got I guess I can ask them if they have any more of that one oh my Caron cakes out the wazoo. Chunkies. And we got the blossom cakes, which I'll pass on them. And the marble cakes, I'm going to pass on them. And the swirl cakes, I'm going to pass on them. Although I do like them. Oh. Oh, I haven't seen the cloud cakes in a while. I do like those. They're very pretty. This one is my favorite. Maybe I'll grab a couple of those cloud cakes. Oh. I gotta get my husband. Okay, I'll get him um, to get me a couple of those because I'm too short for that. Okay, um, let's see what else we got. And then as far as new things go. Let's see. Loops and threads. Flex, had that. That's not new. Um, I'm sorry if you guys don't get mad at me for looking down here. Like I said, there was people in the comments that told me to do it, so... Hey, I learned it from you guys. <laughs> a long time ago. I learned that. Oh, that's like boucle. Oh, what is this stuff? Oh, that's like fuzzy type of yarn with palms in it. Soft. Not my style, though. This is so much fun. I like it. There's the blanket yarn and the loops and threads. They got a lot of loops and thread brands here. Michael's might be switching out. Oh, here's some lion rim. Pound of loves. 
I don't really need any. That red's pretty though, but I don't need it. People often ask me if I like Pound of Love from Lion Brand, but, or do I like Karen um, One Pounders? Lion Brand, Pound of Love. I don't hardly ever buy Karen One Pounders. Um, no, I, mean, I just prefer, I would prefer this one over that one. So I really don't buy those very often either. So what we got over here? Craft Smart. Craft Smart's a lot better than one. Ooh, maybe not that one. <laughs> Some craft, yeah, that's, that's, that's better. Craft Smart's a lot better than what it used to be. I guess it really just depends on the dye. That one's pretty. I don't have a problem with Craft Smart. You got our families covered. Big old velvet yarns. Okay, I'm gonna pass on all these chunky yarns and all these blanket yarns. I wish I had a better sell. I'm gonna look online because my micros will match any online coupons. So, I know not everybody's micros does. I think it just depends on your location. Um. Oh, I got another. I ought to look down. Let's see what we got here. Oh, pound of gloves. Yep. And then we got cotton here. Twisted tones. I think I've seen this. I think I've had it. They also have it in several other brands. The same. I mean, just different brands of yarn, but the same. Here's some Tribu. It's kind of expensive here. I like Tribu though. It's pretty. From Lion Brand. I like the woolies, but I don't need it right now. Hmm. Scarfy. Love Scarfy. You dancing, son? Huh? You like the music? Not really. Not really. Lips and Threads Lux Merino Wool Blend. I don't think I've ever had this. If I have, I don't remember. Let's feel it. I might grab a couple bowls of this and give it a go and test it out. Um, hey, baby, I'm going to need some you for some height in a minute. So you need to use me? I need to for use something? you for My some... My attributes? Um, what weight is this stuff? Three weight? Um, what color of this do you like the best? I don't want to get it. This green. That green? Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll take that green. red. The red? That one and one green. Do they have a brown? Oh, and that tan next to it. Yeah, that's one right. tan. That's it. One tan. You You're not gonna sign. Oh my gosh! I'm leaving. I don't know you. Hey, sir, you just knocked that sign down. Do you need help putting it back up? No, thanks, ma'am. Okay, this stuff. You got it. This stuff they're marketing is new. I seen that, but it's not. They had it like two years ago. I did a review on it. They just brought it back and rebranded it on a different name. Just to let you guys know. Okay, that's about all they got here. Well, you know what? It's not like I thought, but. It wasn't as exciting as it, it I mean, no, it's exciting. They had new yarn, but they just aren't filling up the shelves very much like they used to. There used to be yarn on this side, didn't there? I can't remember. Maybe not. But another aisle. I need you to get me, um, I need you to get me something, babe. I can't reach it. Huh? Will you? Yes, I'll probably get a copyright streak. Or I have to cut it out on my video. If you guys see a... I, I have that at home. If you guys um, are watching this video and it goes silent for a minute, that means me, I got, they made me take the music out of, YouTube made me take the music out of the video. Unfortunately, it takes a voice out too. So it takes a voice out too. So, <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. Hopefully it's not like right now when I'm telling you about it. What's the yardage on these things again? I forgot. 383 or something. Oh man, I wish I had more of those. But they don't. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. I need two of these cakes up here. Um, those are back. Yeah. 
get you the two back ones because I know how you are. Uh, that is how I am. Thanks, babe. Okay, I think that's going to be it here then. I don't know how exciting the trip it was. Look, they had a new Karen kick. It's all white. And I wanted to get this too, but they only have three and that's not enough for me. I think that uh, I have this at home. It'll look good with this. Is that a sheep doodle Is it a sheep doodle Oh, it's a sheep doodle There's a dog in here? Yeah. Where? It's, it's probably a surface dog. No, it's just someone with a dog on a leash. I think that you can only bring surface dogs in there. Oh, I thought you said circus. No. <laughs> surface. And they're usually sheep a doodles for, like, our, our dogs just we got two sheep a doodles. All right, guys. I think that's it here. No, it wasn't too exciting, but I got to look at that dog. Where is it? Don't, um,. What's the matter with Ev? Aww, he's cute. Let me come in. Oh, I can't tell any of the people's face. Yeah, no, that's not a poodle. It's not curly enough, but it's cute. All right, we're gonna go pay, and then um, if you guys want to, you can shut me off. Or I'm gonna talk about the yard when I get home, but. If you got, want to accompany me to PetSmart, you can. If not, you can fast forward me to the end of the video when I talk about the yarn I got. Applebee's. I ain't going to Applebee's. I know, so so Applebee's. There was that dog again. They're going to think I'm a creepy stalker. I'm going to quit. Okay, puppy. It's a Labradoodle. We asked. Her name's Eleanor. I love that name, Eleanor. And one of my old vintage dolls is named Eleanor. So, I think, I don't think any of my kids like that name because they don't like my old vintage dolls. Okay, so we can't go to Petco, obviously. They, they, I guess they just closed for some reason. So, I guess that's it. I think Libby's going to books a million or something, but I'm not. I'm just going to go home and tell you about the yarn. Okay, so I made it back, okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got. So, some of it was new to me. It may not have been, like, new, you know, like, super new. But it was new to me because I haven't really been keeping up on the new yarns as much as I usually do. Because yarn is kind of, it's kind of all the same now. It's like the same companies. They just repackage it. Like, they've already had the yarn and they just repackage it from, like, a couple years ago. Or it's the same yarn as another company. They just put their brand on it. But anyways... Nonetheless, I did find some things that I had never seen at, um, at Michael's before. So, uh, Michael's at today was the making of the video, 629-2023. Their sale on the yarn was buy one, get one 50% off. And they didn't have anything better online that they could match. They had 20% off. Um, things that weren't on sale. So since these are on sale, this was the best that, that, that they could do. So the first one I got was something that I never seen before. It's called uh, Loops and Threads, which is Michael's house brand, Lux Merino. So it's classified as a lightweight number three. So there's that. I think that's a good, good lightweight number three. It feels good. I mean, it doesn't feel bad. It's 55 superwash merino and 45 acrylic. It smells like Michael's. <laughs> that's that's a good thing. Um, there's 410 yards or 375 meters. 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, made in Turkey. So it says you can machine wash on cold um, and tumble dry on low. All right. So these are regular $7.99 and you buy one, get one half off. So uh, I was paying like $7.50 a piece for them with that sale price. Um, it's an okay price, I guess. In today's market, I always think yarn's kind of expensive. But anyways, I don't think that's really a bad price. Um, so I got this as avocado is the color. And then I got 
I got it in this red, which is, why don't they have names? This one has a name. This one doesn't have a name. Whatever. That is weird. So it's got a caller number, but this one has a name. Anyways, WM26, I got that one. These are the same yarns, right? Uh, yeah, this is just has a different labeling. This must be an old, the older label. You see the labels are different, but everything else about them is the same. So, and then I got this tan one, which it doesn't have a color name because it's got a new label on it. And the orange one, pumpkin color. And that's um that's it on those so i thought those went well together you know they would make a pretty fall project i think it's missing like a mustard yellow but they didn't have that uh, at my michaels i don't know if they do online but those are really pretty fall colors don't you think i think i'll save them for some a nice fall project Maybe a fall poncho or something, or a fall sweater. And I might look online and see if they have a mustard yellow. I think that would go really good with those colors. Or even a darker brown, like a chocolate brown. Yeah, I think so. Okay, then I got uh, two of these crown cakes. These aren't new, but these are the uh, cloud cakes. They're super soft. Um, these are 8.5 ounces, 240 grams. 760 yards or 695 meters and they classified this one as a four weight these are super super soft too the cloud cakes i mean super duper soft they got a little bit of a fuzziness to them here we go that's what they're classifying as a four weight there i think it looks fine i like it these are like i said these are really soft I think I've only made a scarf one time out of this, but I bought two, and I think I'm going to keep it and try to make... Oh, it's so soft. It's so soft. No wool. What is it made out of? 100% um, polyester. Okay. But it's not like a blanket yarn type of polyester, you know? And it's not like a velvet yarn type of polyester. It's different if you've never felt them. They're really soft. Um... Maybe I'll save them. I got a lot of yardage here. 760 yards. And I got I got two of them because they were buy one, get one half off. So, oh, the collar I have is called um, Sandbar. I think that I'll get, maybe I'll keep it and make a poncho with it. Anyways, the Cloud Cakes run $12.99. And I got two, so that made them $9.75 a piece. I guess it's a lot of yardage um, there so yeah those are okay pretty I like them and then I got these which this is something I normally wouldn't buy something that is bumpy like the bumpies and you know it's just like kind of pretty similar to homespun but I really like the color it's so fall and I'm so ready for fall and the color is just so my colors like orangey and yellowy and brown I mean, a little bit of red tints there not much but a little bit it's really pretty and it feels like lamb brand homespun um i don't know what i'll make with it they didn't have like a lot of balls left to make a large project i don't think anyways it's 90 acrylic 10 polyester and they're classifying that as a bulky five yeah so it's like it's like homespun um, a hunt, it's called textured twist. I'm sorry, acrylic blend. Um, 184 yards, six ounces, 168 meters, or 170 grams. I think it's really pretty. I don't know why their new labels don't have color names, it's really weird. But the color number is 09009. I just like it when when they name yarns, and I like to see how well they match up. Like, they could have named this one, like, I don't know, 
something fall I, something pretty what would you have named what would you have named that if you could have named that bonfire could have been anything really but anything would have beat zero nine zero zero nine maybe if i look online they have a color name maybe it's just not on the label okay anyways these are uh what i say it was twisted texture um the twisted texture was mm, 11.97 each yikes so 12 dollars a ball um buy one get one half off so i was paying like nine bucks a ball for it still that's right right yeah 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 80. Yeah, that's, that's a lie, actually. <laughs> that's quite a bit still. Anyways, um, I got that, but like I said, they didn't have, they had one, two, three. Um, they had six balls of that at 180, 84 yards. So I don't think that would quite be enough to make a sweater but if i wanted to do that um or a blanket no if i wanted to do that i'll look online and see i'll get some more of it if i decide to make a bigger project out of it but anyway so it was very pretty um and then i got the they had two white caram latte cakes i usually get them when i see them because of all the caram latte cakes the white is my favorite i love caram latte cakes um it's 8.8 .8 ounces, 250 grams. It's an acrylic nylon blend, 530 yards, and they classify this as a bulky five as well. It's so silky soft. If you've never felt a latte cake, out of all the crown cakes, latte cakes are my favorite. They're, it's very pretty. It's got a thinner side of a bulky, but it's not itchy at all. I mean, it's so soft. Um, I love it. I love the latte cakes a lot. They've always been my favorite of all the crown cakes. So these are $12.99. Um, so I paid $9.75 each for them. It is what it is. <laughs> uh, because they, they only had two there. So, all right. And then I got these Karen cakes, which I've never seen. I only got two of them. They had four, but I only got two. I never have ever seen, you guys let me know if you have ever seen this. I have never seen an all white or even an all solid color. I don't think I have regular Caron cake. I have only seen striped ones. Have you guys ever seen an, just a, a solid, just a regular Caron cake that was a solid color? This is the first time I've ever seen it. But it doesn't mean that it's like, I mean it. There's lots of stuff I haven't seen, so maybe they're going to start coming out with solid uh, regular Karen cakes. That'd be cool to match their stripes. I think that would be awesome. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to use this to go around like maybe a border of like the uh, the red uh, velvet cake one that I have. So regular Karen cakes, this one's called powdered sugar. It's 80 acrylic, 20 wool. Uh, medium weight number four. You know, it's just a regular Caron cake if you've ever used it before. Um, I do like the name, powdered sugar. So these were running, I don't know, I don't know, uh, $9.99 on a regular. So I got it for $7.50 each because I got it buy one, get one half off. That's not really that good of a deal. <laughs> buy one, get one half off, is it? I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. Okay. And then my favorite thing that I got is the last thing. Um, or was this. This loops and threads. Faucets acrylic blend. Now I was going to say it was new because it says melange here. But they all say that. So it must mean something else that I'm not knowing. See? All the, all the new labeled yarns from Loops and Threads 
have that I have that on there. So I don't know. Anyways, so it's sparkly. You see the subtle glisten of sparkle? It's so pretty. This one looks like a seashell, doesn't it? So it's a roving style. It doesn't have a color name. Like I said, I'm going to look online and see if they have a color name. Because it's weird that they don't have a name on here. It's really soft. I like this a lot. It's 279 yards, 3.5 ounces, 256 meters or 100 grams. And it's... um. A medium weight number four it's 99 acrylic and then one percent of the the sparkle and you can't feel that sparkle at all like i said it's just kind of like a glisten when you get it in the light just right you see it glistening it's kind of like a stellina when the, when it comes to sparkle there's different variations different kinds of sparkle some are twisted into the yarn um and some are kind of like a stellina that's like attached to the yarn so it might pull off easily and it does that's unfortunate but i don't care it's still very pretty it's not coming off too easy but it is coming off a bit yeah that one pulls out there um but it's still very pretty i don't care i like it a lot this i think uh um this is probably, uh, of all the newer ones that I showed you, This, these uh, loops and threads, these are my favorite. The ones with the sparkle in them. Because I already like the faucet, facet, or however you say it, already stone, facet yarn already. Um, but putting that sparkle in it was very pretty. Or the glisten, the glisten. So I got that color. And then this one, which is so pretty. No name, just color numbers. And then I got this one. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that one's pretty. Blue and gray. Yep, blue and grays. Very pretty. See that glisten in the light? It's just glistening. Glistening. And this one. I got to make something for Evelyn out of this one. Pinks. That's gonna stripe up nice, I think. I think that's all the colors I got of that. Um, yeah, I think so. Oh. Yeah, I didn't, I got four of the colors. Like I said, they had a few more colors, but I didn't get them all, and one of them they were sold out of, but I really like the four that I got. I think they're pretty. So that was my trip. I had a good time. It had been a long time since I had been there. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna look up and see why if they have the color names on um, on the website. Oh, the that sparkly yarn um, runs five ninety nine on a regular price. Uh, so I got them for what uh, six. Four fifty a piece. That's okay. That's not a bad price. That's not a bad price. I don't even think five ninety nine is really too bad of a price for that, because it's so pretty. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see if I can find a uh, mustard yellow and a dark brown on the website of this, and then I'm gonna see if I can find a few more of these, because I have an idea in mind for these for for the fall. All right. Thanks for coming with me. I hope that you guys had a good time. I sure did. I'll see you on my next video. Okay. Bye, guys.